and in this video we will sand the neck. Okay, first we want to erase the pencil marks that are um, around the neck. Then wrap a piece of paper around the rectangular portion of the neck and clamp that in a vise. Basically align the vise edge with the start of the CNC routed portion securely. And with a 15 inch long uh, 150 grit sanding strip, we want to uh, sand away the tooling marks from the CNC in this shoe shine method. And you notice I'm holding this, the paper at a splayed angle. That's because I don't want it to sand the edge of the neck right by the fretboard. I just want to take away the CNC surface. Uh, after that's done, that cross grain goes quickly. Now we want to remove those cross grain scratches and we use a rubber sanding block, 150 grit. And this will take a little while. It'll particularly take a while in the transitions because we haven't really done those yet. Uh, there'll be some tooling marks there and that will be time consuming. You, you could even go 120 grit and then up it later. Uh, you could also use a sanding cylinder, uh, which is not shown in the video, but you can see your instructor for that. Okay, this is optional. Um, after the 150 grit, you can up this, the grit size to 180 or 220, and this will produce a very nice, smooth surface. So, all along the neck, that'll take a while. Um, and do the transitions as well. You want to inspect along the way uh, to make sure you've gotten most of it, make sure it feels smooth. Okay, now we can work on the flat surfaces just to make them look good. Uh, sandy block, roughly 180 grit. Uh, you don't have to do those if you've already done those uh, with the rubber block, but it's, it's good that they be straight. So we're doing all flat surfaces. Don't do any corners yet. Here we're sanding along the grain again at the end. Okay, we're going to sand the fretboard surface, but first let's check that it is indeed flat or very slightly concave. Uh, so sand that to make it look good, and I do the headstock um, veneer last. Okay, now that all the flat surfaces are done, now you can do the corners. Um, we want to wait for the corners at this point because um, if, we had an, if you did a corner and then you went back and did it, that flat surface, you just wipe out the corner work you did. So. This is the fretboard edge, and here you want a pretty heavy chamfer, about a sixteenth of an inch uh, radius or a chamfer to make it comfortable. This step is optional. I think it looks a little better if we put a fairly heavy chamfer at the end of the neck where it meets the body, and there I'm getting rid of the burn marks. This is the corner of the neck. You do want to chamfer that or radius it because we need it to fit into the pocket there. Okay, now the neck's slightly too wide, and that's normal. Now with the 120 grit block, uh, we are going to narrow the, uh, the neck until it's a nice slip fit. And we want to see it go all the way to the back of the um, pocket, like shown there. Okay, now check uh, your services. You may find a few cross grain scratches there. We've got a few uh, marks, so you can fix those at this time.